Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Paul Keres and Anatoly Ufintsev. This is the game from Soviet Union Championship, played in Moscow in 1967. Ufintsev, player with black pieces, was Kazakhstan chess champion. He won the Kazakhstan chess championship 11 times. The legend says that Tufintseb once played a blindfold game against his country fellow man called Borat. After making many funny moves, Borat lost. And people in the audience laughed out loud. Borat got angry. He stood up and addressed the crowd with these words. People of Kazakhstan, why do you laugh at me like that? Because you are laughing, I will no longer play chess. I will leave this country and go to America to become a comedian. And you will not laugh at me anymore. The rest is history. Okay, let's have a look at the game. Not Borat Ufintsev game, but Keres Ufintsev. Keres had white pieces and he started with e4. Ufintsev played d6. This is the opening Ufintsev used successfully many times. d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, c6, f4, queen to a5, pinning the knight, threatening knight takes on e4. Unpinning, e5, knight to f3, bishop to g4, pinning the knight, f takes on e5, d takes on e5, d takes on e5, bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, queen takes on e5, f4, queen to d4, queen to f3, bishop to c5, Keres castled queenside, knight from b to d7. Twelve moves have been played. Do you have a feeling that white is standing somewhat better? Hmm? Is it just a feeling? White has a better influence in the center, do you agree? Black queen is in the wrong place. And white has a bishop here. White to move. e5, naturally. Knight to d5, knight to e4, and Ufintsev castled queenside too. Bishop to h3, pinning the knight, unpinning, king to b1, bishop to b6, preserving the bishop, but now knight to d6, threatening knight takes pawn on f7, rook from h to f8. White to move, Keres wants to play bishop to c3. But the knight on d5 would chop his head. So he chases the knight first with c4. Knight to c7. Bishop to c3. Paul Keres is squeezing his opponent like anaconda. Pinsev remembered the golden rule. If you have less space, exchange pieces. So he played queen to e3. Queen takes queen. Bishop takes queen. f5. Knight to c5, white to move. This is a very interesting moment of the game. What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? I found rook from h to e1, attacking the bishop, and after bishop to g5, e6. But Keres played a better move than Rook attacking the bishop. Keres played a move that shocked his opponent. It sent shivers down his spine. The move is Knight takes on f7. Did you find this move too? Rook takes rook check. Rook takes rook. Black to move. Ufintsev played knight to e4. If rook takes knight, then rook to d8 check mate. 
So we have knight to e4 attacking the bishop, bishop to e1, b5 intending now rook takes knight, e6 defending the knight, b takes on c4, bishop to g2, knight to f2 attacking the rook, rook to d7, knight to d5, black knight on d5 is now the best placed black piece but only for a millisecond. C takes on d5. White to move. White played a move and black resigned. The move is e7. Black resigned, a possible continuation. Rook to e8, then perhaps simplification. Bishop takes bishop, Knight to d6 attacking the rook. Where is the rook going? Rook takes pawn. Rook takes rook. And we can stop here. What can we say about this game? Hmm? What do you think about this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.